Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me this morning and they were totally confused. And evidently, they're not a laser engraver. And mainly, my videos are for laser engravers. So I, I thought I'd help him. When he adds a new page, he used to be a he. He started out with Corel nine, and that's what he's been using. He just got Corel seven, I think, and I'm using Corel six. But he used to. He said he would right click on the page, and he could change the size of that page. Well, there's nowhere to do that. But in Corel now, I'm knowing six and probably up. Right here, there's icons. All pages are current page. So you could change the size of the current page to, let's say, 5 by 5. But page 1 would still be your size of your laser bed or whatever size you want to make it. You could make this page, you know, let's say he's not a laser engraver and it's 8.5 by 11. So now he's got an 8.5 by 11, but on page 2, he's got a 5 by 5. Now, this is totally not going to help you if you're a laser engraver or a plasma cutter, but I'm guessing if you're creating uh, pamphlets or flyers or newsletters and business cards, so you could add another page and make that page and see it goes back to default to my size of my laser bed, but because of the fact that I've got that checked, I could make this page, let's say it's three by 2.5 if it was a business card and as you can see I've got 3 by 2.5 well I don't have my rulers over there but because I had to completely I've got these deleted on my normal default because I don't use these you know I don't use you know landscape or portrait or multiple pages or all pages or current page I've got all these deleted I don't need them, so I get them out of the way. So anyway, in Corel 9, it was right here. And evidently, Corel has moved it up here to an icon, which is pretty convenient. Anyway, I hope it helped them a little bit. And thank you for watching.